So guys, that is me again getting released from the police station. I thought you said August. Oh, sorry, 8th, 12th of this month. 12th of this month. Oh, there's my date of birth. I don't know where I've got August from. Alright. I'll just give you a copy of your search record, so you take that. Cool. So if you just have to see it, I have to wait for a supervising officer to come through. No worries. Alright. Thank you very much. See that guys. Let's have a look. Grounds. Police already searched and arrested male for previous drugs and spies in Longwood Hotspot Commercial Street, Jackson Bigger. While police doing this, other drug users approach, then walk off when they see the male have been arrested. Then, if the male arrives and begins filming, so guys that is me again getting released from the police station um, so as you saw earlier on, I know the lighting is really bad here guys, it's really bad. If I go over here, you might be able to see me a bit better stood here, but I was in the police station at Ellen Road as you saw, and then some police came in, they arrested me for breach of restraining order. Now I'm sure you guys will remember the 3GS assault video that took place down on the 9th of October. Well, apparently, because during that incident, I referred to the guy as scum. Yeah, the scum And a muppet, I uh, was then found in breach of my uh, restraining order. So, they came after me for that. I'll check back in with the channel when I get home, guys. I'll give you all an update. As for now, stay safe. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time around here. So, guys, what was all that just about? You're most likely thinking, well... So I went down to the police station at Ellen Road to one, collect a copy of the search record from when the CID officer searched me in town and accused me of smoking spice and all the rest of the nonsense. And I also were taken the opportunity to have a little chat with a sergeant about what actually went down and just seeing what his, his thoughts might have been on it. Anyway, after being sitting there, as you can see, and waiting for two hours straight, police turned up and arrested me for breach of restraining order against Leeds City Council. Now, I know that a lot of my new subscribers, you aren't going to know exactly everything what's going on about that restraining order because that happened when I was back down at like two, three hundred subs, guys. Like, it seems forever ago. But basically what happened, guys, is we go back a year and a half ago, I made a couple of YouTube videos called CCTV, Watch Your View. You can go back and have a look at them now. Um, and during the making of these videos, it was all about Leeds City Council stopping residents from putting cameras on their own houses now during one of my videos i probably foolishly referred to a certain council official as a c u n yeah one of them and it didn't it did, yeah it didn't go too well first thing they did was actually have me arrested for harassment um, after the arresting me for harassment, it was uh, dropped because obviously there was no, there were no features and no evidence to support the fact of harassment. But what they did do was charge me with sending in malicious communications, which was the email which contained a link to my YouTube video to the council official. 
end of the day, I ended up with a restraining order. And the restraining order says that I cannot use insulting words, gestures or behaviour towards any Leeds City Council worker, co-worker, contractor, basically anyone who has anything to do with Leeds City Council. And then we go back to October, just gone, the 3GS assault video. During that video, I referred to them as Muppets and as scum which resulted in me being guilty of breaching my restraining order. I can't do nothing about that. I'm at court on the 2nd of January and I will be going guilty because I don't have a choice, guys. But, how did this come about? You know, cause it was such a long time ago. Why is it taking them months and months to do something about it? Well, I'll tell you exactly why, guys, because since my last video when I was out with my big posters campaigning about G4, uh, G4S, 3GS, They've obviously seen me doing what I'm doing and they have thought, right, I'm going to do something about it now. So on the 12th of this month that John Quinn, this guy here, remember him? Yeah, I remember him. He made the complaint to the police that I'd used the words Muppet and Scum and yeah. So it's just, it's just dirty bully boy tactics, isn't it really? It's like I, I, I was doing something, I was getting a bit active, they didn't like it, so... Yeah, they went, they went and did that. But, don't worry guys, don't worry, because I won't give up, I'll never give up, and I will, I'll just go faster and harder every single time, you know. Nothing's going to make me stop. You guys, I should think by now, no. And then, yeah, that's that, guys. That's what's going on with my restraining order and courts and everything crazy. On top of all that, I just want to take a second as well to thank a couple of people because the support that I've been getting right now, guys, has been absolutely amazing. So, first of all, I would like to give a massive shout out to Peter McMahon. Peter, if I pronounce your last name there wrong, but I am really sorry. But I want to give a massive shout out to Peter, guys, because Peter paid the fee to Crime Bodge for me. So the reason that Crime Bodge is looking in and giving me some support is thank you to Peter. So thank you, Peter, you're a brilliant guy, and I'm so happy to have you about on the channel. Next up, I would like to give a massive shout out to Lewis, or Lois Cypher, aka Adrian Horton. Adrian, you are a legend, bro. You're awesome. Listen, guys, yeah, you, you watch my videos. I've never asked any of you for any money. I've never asked you to donate, nothing like that. But this guy, off of his own back, sent me 20 quid. Just sent me 20 quid, like, here you go, Marty, that's for you, mate. You know, because I really like what you're doing. Do as you please with it. Thank you, agent. Like, and it's 20 quid, guys, you know, but wow! The gesture is what is so important, man. I'm so appreciative. I really am. It's just it's just amazing, guys. And then last of but not least, by any means whatsoever, big shout out and thank you to Crime Bodge. Rob, you're brilliant, mate. You're absolutely fantastic. That video edit that you've done is amazing. So I want to thank you for your support, mate, because everyone out here is always on my channel and they're always Go to Crime Bodge, go to Crime Bodge, go to Crime Bodge, it's all I hear. But now, guys, guys, I'm here, I'm with Crime Bodge, he's helping, we're trying to make something happen. Brilliant. And I think that's it, guys. I think that is my update. Christmas and New Year is just around the corner, so I'm going to try my best to get one more video in before Christmas, because between Christmas and New Year, I'm probably not going to be very active, you know what I mean? Bit of family time and whatnot. But other than that, guys, same as always, enough love, enough respect, stay safe, peace. So one thing, guys, that I left out a moment ago is I've been talking to a little somebody, somebody that I really like and I really respect, and I've respected this person for probably about four years now. Charlie Veach. Charlie Veach amazing guy he taught me so much like go back three four years i first started like waking up let's say charlie beach danny shine guys you woke me up and just over the last few days i've had the absolute pleasure of talking to charlie personally and it's it's like a surreal moment guys when you sat there talking to this person that you've like what that has inspired you, you know, I mean, it's amazing. And Charlie, being the absolute awesome guy that he has, 
that he is, should I say, has provided me with a nice little piece of footage, unseen footage, regarding 3GS. Now, we've all, we've, we've all had his own little opinions, we've all had his little digs at these little police are, they're doing this, they're doing that. Well guys, I want you to watch this clip and I want you to make a decision up from this clip. I want you to look at this and I want you to think, is that the kind of people that we want in our society? That's what I want you to ask that question. Paul, maybe, maybe. So guys, with no further ado, I bid you farewell and enjoy the clip. For this one we're going to spin out guys, see you later. No, hello to you too. Hi. Yeah, You're, yeah, hi. Right. hi I just wanted to say Sir, I'm here to support Anyway, I'm here to support you if these private company people try and harass you. I want to say, listen, listen, off the camera I wanted to say something. You're not saying anything to me off camera. You're a scammer. You're scammers. And you should know better by now. Are you okay? I'm all right, yeah. Do you mind if I film? No. no you don't mind. Thank you, sir. What did the gentleman say to you in the black uniform? He said, uh, "You're not allowed to feed the birds because they because they've been bringing vermin into the city centre." Do you accept that man in black's authority over you? No. You don't. No. Why would you not accept a uniformed man's because authority over you? The birds are entitled to be fed. Yeah, and um, so. So you're basically saying a gentleman that works for a private corporation seeking to get money from you does not have authority over you? No, he demanded, he said he's he going to issue me with a fixed penalty notice and I told him I refused to accept it. Good on you, stick to your guns, I'll yeah. provide you with support just here. Yeah. 